All right, Lucas, it seems like a really exciting class that you're a part of here. So why did you decide to participate in the Magnets and Motors program? Well, I decided to participate because it seemed like it would be um, a cool like science thing where I could like build a motor or something and well, like watch it work yeah. like after I had built it. And how long, how long does one of these assignments usually take? Well, you mean like the whole class? Well, so, so you guys, whatever you guys were working on today, right? How long yeah. did that take you to put together? Did you just start this project today? Yeah. Okay, wow. Wow, okay. And what other kind of, what other kinds of projects have you guys done? Well, we created a motor, as you saw here, and then we made a compass a few weeks ago. A compass? Yeah. Wow, hold on a second. I'm going to close Okay, a compass? That's amazing. Yeah. Do you actually use it? Well, yeah. Okay, well, kind of. That's really neat. And do you like this hands-on kind of approach to learning? Yeah, because we can actually do it instead of just, like, hear about it. Right. What happens, though, because you're not graded, so what happens if... Right. How do you know if you're succeeding? Well, we just keep trying it until we see what we want to see it doing. Mm -hmm. do, you ever be, do you ever become frustrated? Sometimes, <laughs> I mean. That's normal though, right? Yeah. All right, what, what else should viewers know about this awesome program offered here? Well, I think people should know it's like, it's not like, I mean, it's like you get to build stuff for y'all, like not just learn about it or something. You get to like build it and then see it work and explore it instead of just reading about it. Or mm -hmm. what, do you mean, what do you mean by explore it? Like take it apart, look at all the parts, figure out what does what and stuff. Yeah, nice. So there's a lot to like building a motor. You had to learn a lot of stuff, you know, just to build yeah. like a base motor, right? Can you name some of the things you had to learn? And you're still looking at me the whole time, even though he asked the question. <laughs> okay. Well, we had to learn about, like, the negative and positive sides of magnets and batteries and motors to figure out how everything fits together. Yeah. And what kind of instruction do you get from your teacher? Well, she just, like, tells us what we're supposed to be doing, and then we build it and troubleshoot it sometimes when it doesn't work and just try and make it work. Mm -hmm. Tell us about teamwork because we saw many of you working in teams. Right, well usually you're given the option to work by yourself or sometimes help someone else and then sometimes work as a team but then one, usually when someone finishes it they go and help other people and then usually at the, at the end we combine all of our things to make a big one. How has Ethos Science Center benefited you? Or I think it's made me more aware of motors and the magnets. And how do you think you're going to be able to use this in the future? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> I mean, but you're getting probably inspired ideas, I'm sure, right? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good. 